Hello, how are you and how am I? Well, let me tell you uh, my story, my daily story. It's so important to wake up with a life full of positivity, energy. So life starts on a daily basis when you wake up. So do not let even one moment pass by without utilizing fully. So that's what you want to do. You want to enjoy it at the same time and be passionate about it. And you want to be clear about it and com communicate well with yourself. And then if you do a good job on you, well, of course, the world would be a better place because you'll be able to help other people. And that's your and my attitude of helping others all the time. And you would lead uh, yourself in the right direction. So let me tell you how to have an amazing day where you feel so positive about it, full of energy, and I'll give you many, many tips about this. Camera, just about what's your typical day and how it starts and how, uh, what's the, the, the best ways that you utilize to get your day going and get started and what you recommend um, for your patients and friends um, what is almost uh, therapeutic in a way to get your day started because we live in such a busy society these days. How do you start? What is it that you do? My way of uh, <clears throat> spending a day or spending a life it uh, has to be very innovative, creative and helpful at the same time. So when I wake up I tell everyone including myself and I do it too is wake up uh, with the mindfulness and focus, create, visualize. For example, I visualize with my eyes closed as soon as I wake up and take a deep breath and I'm smiling more and I'm putting all the life elements into me, the ones which I think are great and I create myself and I carry myself all day with deep breaths. So point I'm trying to make is very important to do the mind exercise and then the body exercise like stretching in the bed so I do all, all those things upstairs I'll show it to you in detail and so, why is it important to stretch because our bodies are stiff overnight sleeping does that so in the morning as we age the stiffness gets worse so you want to be warm stretch and exercise and do pranayam or, or certain yogas and then start your day. It, you could take uh, a few seconds or a few minutes. So it's not about uh, spending more time necessarily. It's just how you use your time effectively. It's a time management. Many times there are so many things we do like cooking, uh, living, exercising, drinking warm water. It's, it's about uh, time management and uh, discipline after you get educated and these things are so important. Okay, so um, the technique, the breathing technique, is that something that is easily learned or is it, what is the, the uh, benefits of taking those deep breaths and visualizing? As far as the breath, is it something that goes through the diaphragm and down deep? Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, the whole system think like a universal. So you are part of the endless universe if you just become more scientific about it. Yeah? Because people want science. So what you want to do is everything gets transformed. So you want to do everything in a rhythm, harmony. This life, death, you're going to be living being. You're going to turn into non-living being. You know, your spirituality propagates so whatever your belief systems are but these are the fundamental things and we live by science light bulb we use light bulb we use car we use science so uh, keeping that in mind uh, I designed a program like how you wake up in the morning like I was telling you and deep breath is something that is also very scientific and physiological uh, there are so many benefits for example your blood pressure can go down stress level can be controlled well and turn into very creative stress rather than distress stress uh, then you smile more you make other people's lives better uh, 
so it's like they talk about energy, vibration, sensing, because we sense so fast in our life, you know, with our eyes, with smell or anything, extraordinarily fast. And is and the brain, over 95 percent is not even understood well. So uh, there, there are like uh, presidents say they're gonna spend hundreds of millions of dollars to study brain. So there is a lot which is not studied well. So uh, all in all it starts here and then you propagate good thoughts, good karmas and all this uh, uh, environmental, good environmental, environmental living, green living, drinking warm water, uh, drinking whether you drink uh, green tea, eating protein, so it's all living in harmony, taking care of your neighbors, taking care of your friends, society, families, you know, around you, to be helpful, to be wishing or praying in that sense, because people believe in like a distant prayers and stuff like that. But I think the uh, moral of the story to me is you think you be, so the world changes as you think. Like they say, uh, in fact, one Englishman wanted to change the world. Then he decided to change the country as he older, uh, as he uh, became wiser and older. And then he wanted to change the county, he wanted to change uh, city. Then he decided to change himself. That way, the world would change. So this is what I'm trying to say: that we all have to follow through all this um, all this uh, cultural history learn from it become creative not become dogmatic about things have an open mind and become mentoring for other people and learn from everyone Okay, so Dr. J, tell us a little bit about uh, your morning ritual, your morning routine for eating and getting energized and getting going. Okay, very important is uh, I massage my gums with two fingers and inside the thumb and index finger. So massage the whole mouth and do a little acupressure, pushing uh, against the palate, hard palate, and turning my neck. So that releases all the stiffness, gives a good movement and increases the immune system. I'm sure that any motion in the right way increases the immune system. Mm -hmm. It's like no-brainer. Uh, as, as far as the, um, the gums are concerned, tell us a little bit about that again. Okay. Is that moving, is it circulating the blood flow inside of the gums and in the palate? How, maybe a little more in depth about that. Um, I wet the fingers and just press acupressure and massage gums inside. So what it does, it, there is uh, always inflammation in the body, including there. So if there's any inflammation, it helps to subside inflammation. Plus there are tons of bacteria there. So when you uh, acupressure and massage those areas, there is an immune system reaction, more so. So it's almost uh, like taking quote unquote a flu shot every day so so that's a good one and also then I drink warm water because cold drinking cold stuff is not good because it drives the immune system down so even uh, ancient Chinese and Indian medicine they never used anything cold and all this icing and refrigerator and ice cream and sorbet and all kinds of things in the fridge that's a uh, western man-made stuff and which is not healthy so people are finding out those things you you know as a kid you get attracted I got attracted towards all these goodies and ice cream and sorbet and all kinds of things then I realized you know what wait a second this is all things that that tasted great that attracted kids you know with fried food or, uh, or uh, french fries or burgers or all kinds of things that's not something that is healthier but again, if I go back again, if I could go back again, and 
if somebody taught me all these things, parents, uh, you know, uh, teaching all the good things, all throughout, and gurus and friends teaching all these good things in life, but that doesn't happen. So point is, I had to uh, invent many many things myself, or discover many things in my in my life, and I went through the whole nine yards. So I thought, you know what, the best thing is why not put all this information in front of the world and make it a better place. So uh, to answer your question uh, about uh, how, uh, what I eat and how I start my day with food, it's, then I drink warm water as I say, a uh, pot full of uh, warm water or few cups of warm water, like uh, two to four uh, eight ounces glasses you can drink in the morning or you know a few cups whatever you can tolerate medically you can take but there are people who have a kidney failure and heart failure who are not supposed to drink too much water so those are exceptions but that's very few 0.001% in that regard so it's not a huge population um, so what it does it uh, helps you to get hydrated helps you for GI cleansing and other things because people become constipated they don't drink enough water they don't take enough minerals they don't take enough omega enough protein so what I do is I make sure that I try to make things at home or if people don't have time they can get things like uh, organic we try to be as organic as possible for even uh, to become environmentally friendly you become organic so like global warming and all that other issues we have, it helps. I'm a vegan physician uh, by philosophy of live and let live. So that's what I believe in is like everyone, including all the animals, have right to live. Even in fact, uh, plants too, because I would not pluck flower and give it to you. I would rather give you a plant because you know I would let lives be lives. That's my philosophy. There's nothing to do with religion. So uh, going back uh, to the foods, so for example, this is a strawberry, banana, chia, ancient grains like quinoa, all blended together. So you got your omega, you got your protein, you got your antioxidants, all in one. So I drink this. I also would take a protein shake, greens and protein. So I get more greens and protein, and you can use hemp protein, which is a good protein. I stay away from soy uh, products because of all the hype of uh, uh, it's being uh, pro-cancerous and all that uh, and it's not good and I've seen that majority of my patients, American women, they cannot tolerate soy, their stomach cannot tolerate it, so I've seen that. So keeping that in view, I stay away from soy, so dairy free products because dairy is have its own problems too with the uh, uh, causing more allergies and other things too I'm not against it but there's something you can, if you if I can do without it and be healthy right. why not right and is there something dr. J somewhere about uh, women with their thyroid and soy that it increases thyroid cancer uh, there's studies on that soy has uh, estrogenic component so anything uh, that estrogen excess can do, so it can do. Think like that. So whether it's increase in uh, breast cancer or thyroid cancer or other things, we don't know. There are so many unknowns. So I mean, there's uh, goodness to learn, but there are things that we need to use our common sense. Uh, there are studies being done by NIH, and like 28 million dollars are funded uh, for this type of research. Like I told you, hundreds of millions of dollars goes for brain research. So, so it's an evolving science. That's that's uh, the world we live in. Mm -hmm. I see you have some other things uh, down over here on the side. Some little dropper bottles. Oh, this here. Yes. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little bit about that. There is a bomb fruit out in China. It uh, grows in mountains and it has uh, sugar which is a zero calorie sugar or monk fruit extract. So what I do is I take the powder and create my own concoction, my own recipe to, to 
put it in dropper form so you just have to use a few drops to uh, make any sweet recipe so all you have to do is just put drops to, 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 to down so, so that way all the sugar that we are eating is not good sugar is not a good thing to eat period for kids should never be even given uh, sugar from birth you know and the whole thing is bad so why not uh, promote something like this which is natural and people can use easily and that will also help to control diabetes uh, weight issues so it has a huge implication so what I do is with my fightobesitywalk.org that I started it's a non-profit foundation so I uh, and my team would uh, research and formulate things like this things like we are coming out with chia seeds uh, lollipops sugar free so point is it's like get uh, sweetness in life but in a better way mm -hmm. that's the point right. and are those um, protein chocolate balls yeah this is something that I invented uh, took the protein powder pea protein basically hemp protein and put uh, uh, flax seed chia seed um, green tea um, and uh, vitamin D3 because lots of people are uh, deficient in vitamin D3 and now I begin I have done adding uh, magnesium to some of the products so and what's because, the benefits of magnesium because it helps brain it helps muscles vitamin D is low and it helps many immune system functions so there are so many benefits that we can have uh, with this uh, uh, omega-3 I mean it may not prevent heart disease or heart failure but then there are other supplements like CoQ10 that helps the heart you know uh, like glucosamine MSM that helps uh, musculoskeletal system so we incorporate all these things in making our products in fact I start my day like with this uh, type of breakfast blend and also Zyolite the one I was telling you about with acai noni, mangosteen, aloe vera, goji berry, turmeric uh, glucosamine, MSM uh, choline and acet L-acetylcysteine so many things I put together to make Zyolite uh, for energy and uh, as a multivitamin supplement so I start my day with that